Have you ever wanted your own minions to take over the world? I mean, complete your tasks? In this tutorial, we're going to build AI agents on Google Colab with the help of Llama 3 powered by Ollama. With these powerful tools, you can automate tasks that would normally take hours or days, such as preparing for meetings, generating customized trip plans, or writing blogs and social media posts. The good news is that this process is entirely free. Here's what you'll need. First off, there's Olama, a framework that lets you run Llama 3 locally on your machine. It's super easy to get set up. Just click the download button and you're good to go. Next, you'll need to download the Llama 3 model into Olama. If you're new to Olama or unsure how to download models, don't worry. I've got a video on it that I'll link in the description below. Next up, we'll be using Google Colab as our coding platform. You'll need a Google account, which I'm assuming you already have, so we won't be covering that in this video. By the way, don't worry about the cost. The free tier of Google Colab is more than enough for this project. I'm choosing to use Google Colab because it lets me keep my local machine clean and free of clutter. No unnecessary downloads required. Plus, I can avoid managing version dependencies. All the Python Crew AI and other packages are handled within the Colab environment. This way, I can focus on the task at hand without any distractions. Finally, you'll need a free account with ngrok. Since Llama 3 will be running locally on your machine, but the code that runs your agents is on Google Colab, we need to make Llama 3 accessible to Google Colab. That's where ngrok comes in. It gives your local web applications where Olama is running a public URL. You will find a link to ngrok and an instruction on how to expose your Olama URL in my tutorial page, which is linked in the video description. We are going to build a team of AI agents or minions, if you will, that work together to achieve our ultimate goal world domination. Just joking. Or am I? This crew is comprised of four distinct types of minions. We've got the mastermind, who's responsible for developing the overall strategy. The gadgeteer, who will be inventing crazy devices to help us on our mission. The chief henchman, who will coordinate the minion army's efforts. And the propagandist, who will spread pro-minion sentiment far and wide. Each of these minions plays a crucial role in helping us achieve our goal of world domination. Or at least that's the plan. To start, download the Jupyter Notebook from my tutorial page under Quick Links and open Google Colab. Sign in with your Google account, then upload the notebook by clicking File, Upload Notebook. Click Connect to establish a connection to a Colab runtime. Let's run through the code cell by cell so you can understand how it works. In the first cell, we're installing necessary packages, specifically Crew AI. This framework lets us create complex multi-agent systems using various models and providers. Although there's an error at the end of the installation, I've investigated it further and it doesn't affect our example. For this scenario, let's ignore it, hide the output and move on to the next cell. This cell imports the required modules and libraries for our project. We start by importing agent, task and crew from Crew AI, which enables us to create and manage AI agents, tasks and crews. Then we import process from Crew AI, allowing us to define and run processes for our agents. Additionally, we import Olama, enabling us to use it instead of OpenAI, which is the default in Crew AI. Finally, we import user data from Google Colab, granting us access to user data and preferences within the notebook environment. Once you see the green check mark, it means that the cell has executed without errors. 
Next, we're retrieving important values from the Jupyter Secrets section of Olama. This allows us to maintain sensitive information in one place and control which notebooks have access to it. Specifically, we're defining two variables, Olama base URL, which contains the ngrok created URL for exposing Olama to the outside world, and Olama model, which specifies the model I want to use as a base for my agents. In this case, that's the Llama 3 model. We're now initializing an Olama language model by setting its base, URL and model and storing it in a variable called LLM. This sets the stage for creating our actual crew. In this cell, we define our agents by specifying their role, goal and backstory using natural language prompts. The LLM parameter determines which large language model the agent will use. If left empty, it defaults to OpenAI and requires an API key. We can assign a different LLM to each agent, which might be useful in scenarios where agents specialize in specific tasks like writing code or interpreting images. But for our example, we'll use Llama 3 for all agents. Additionally, there's the allow delegation parameter that controls whether this agent can delegate tasks to other agents. In our case, it cannot. The verbose parameter allows us to control the level of detail provided by the agent regarding its internal workings, which is sometimes really fun to watch. But for this tutorial, I've set it to false. Now let's look at the contents of role, goal and backstory for our agents. Our first agent has the role of evil genius mastermind. Its goal is to develop a grand strategy for world domination. For backstory, we'll say you are the brilliant leader of the minions, always scheming to take over the world. Your plans are elaborate and often involve bananas. Our second agent has a role of minion gadget inventor. His goal is to come up with innovative ways to take over the world. For backstory, we'll say you're the creative genius behind all minion technology. Your inventions are as unpredictable as they are yellow. This agent has the role of chief henchman. His goal is to get the minions moving in the right direction. For backstory, we'll say you're the minion's minion, capable of turning banana into actionable plants. Your organizational skills are as impressive as your overalls. Our last agent has the role Minion Propagandist. His goal is to make everyone think taking over the world is a great idea. For backstory, we'll say your memes are legendary, your slogans catchy, and your ability to make world domination sound appealing is unmatched. Next, let's look at the tasks which each agent will do. The first task is about developing a comprehensive strategy for world domination. And this task is assigned to the mastermind agent. The expected output is a detailed plan for world domination minion style. The second task is about inventing three key gadgets that are crucial for the world domination plan. It's all about coming up with clever contraptions and their function, as well as some hilarious side effects to keep things interesting. And this task is assigned to the gadgeteer agent. The expected output is descriptions of three wacky but somehow effective gadgets for conquering the world. The next task is about creating a training and deployment plan for the Minion Army, all based on the master strategy for world domination. It's up to the henchman agent to come up with a comprehensive plan for preparing and utilizing the Minion workforce in this quest for global conquest. The expected outcome is a comprehensive plan for preparing and utilizing the Minion workforce in the quest for world domination. And the final task is about developing a global propaganda campaign that will win hearts, minds and even bananas for the minion cause. 
the propagandist agent has been tasked with crafting a multi-platform strategy to make minion rule seem like the best thing since sliced bananas. The expected outcome is a multi-platform propaganda strategy to make minion rule seem like the best thing since sliced bananas. Now, we bring our agents and tasks together by initializing a crew object named MyCrew. This combines the defined agents with their assigned tasks, indicating that they should be executed sequentially, one after another, as the default in Crew AI. Additionally, we set the verbose parameter to control the level of detail printed to the console during the crew's operation. This cell runs the crew's assigned tasks and displays the outcome. When executed, it will trigger the crew to begin working on their tasks according to the defined process. I'll let it complete its execution, then we can examine the results together. So let's look at this great master plan for world domination. You'll notice that the pink text represents an agent that's currently working on a task. In this case, it's the evil genius mastermind. The agent's five-phase scheme for world domination starts with banana-based brainwashing, creating banana stands in high-traffic areas. Next up is minion recruitment through social media and online exploits. Then comes infiltration and subversion, where compromised positions are used to manipulate decision-making processes. But that's not all. The plan culminates in global domination, where our evil genius mastermind reveals himself, bends world leaders to his will using banana-fueled mind control, and then eternal reign, where he'll rule the world with an iron fist, or should I say, an iron peel. It's a plan so ridiculous it just might work. Our second agent, the minion gadget inventor, has created three gadgets for world domination. First, there's the Bananatron 3000, a sneaky mind control device disguised as a banana stand. It makes people start dancing the Macarena in public. Next, they've created the Minionizer 5000, a social media recruitment tool that infiltrates profiles and turns them into recruits by changing their profile images to banana-themed masterpieces. And finally, there's the Banana Foo Buster 9000, an advanced mind control device that causes random dance moves or off-key singing. Because who doesn't love a good sing-along? Next we have our henchman's four-phased minion army training and deployment plan. This plan is sure to bring the world to its knees. And finally, behold the output of our final agent, the minion propagandist, who has concocted a minion propaganda campaign that will leave you speechless. Want to see what kind of crazy results our AI agents can come up with? Try it out for yourself and see what happens. Just remember, this is all in good fun. I'm just having a laugh with an example that's a big joke. But trust me, these AI agents are actually super powerful tools that can help you get tons done. In my upcoming videos, I'll be sharing some of the more useful stuff I've been experimenting with, from helpful task automation to creative projects. And who knows, maybe one day we'll even use them to build an army of minions. Just joking. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.